Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52 and with Barbie. I will show you her in a minute. Right now, um, I am, we are at the Field Museum. And over here, you can see Sue's butt. And back there, you can also see a mammoth's butt. Um, not really butt, just, you know, sign. What? I think that's an elephant. Elephant. Sorry. It's far away. Uh, anyway, um, we have been having a super cool couple of days, and we will talk about them soon. First, I'm going to make Barbie say some things. So one of the other things we've done on my visit to Chicago, um, and all of that excitingness, um, is last night we went to see a taping of Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, which was really cool. There was a really long wait, um, unfortunately. For Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> but then, once it actually started, it was pretty fun. Um, it was really cool to actually put faces to some of the names I've heard and some of the voices. Everyone's older than I thought they were. All of their voices, I was like, they're, they're you're clearly my age, mid-twenties. You know, maybe <laughs> mid-thirties. No, no, they're all a lot older, obviously. Um, it was really fun, except there were some really uncomfortable moments, too. There were a lot of comments, um, I mean, it was all about the election. So the, there's a whole bunch of stuff about Chris Christie and, you know, all of the fat jokes. Um, so many fat jokes. But then even before they got to that, they were talking about Rob Ford, and a lot of that was, well, if you're on crack, why aren't you thinner? And that was also really... jokes about crack, and it was... Yeah. That part was uncomfortable for me also. Yes. Um, and there, there were also some factual things that didn't seem to quite line up with some of the stuff that I've read on like Twitter and, you know, some of my other primary news sources that aren't mainstream media, uh, which were also rather uncomfortable. Um, I was like, the, yeah, the, that's what mainstream media is saying, but I don't think it's actually that popular, and it, at least, you know, the people I'm hearing from say Rob Ford is not actually that popular. Um, it's interesting to hear them, you know, spouting the things they you know, kind of toe the party line there, or, you know, what mainstream media is promoting. But it's still really funny, um, and I still really, really desperately want Carl Castle's voice on my home answering machine. Um, even though I don't have one of those, it'd have to be on my voicemail. But, they can do voicemail. Yes, they do do voicemail, um, and it is one of the things that I want more than anything else. So as always, we had a great time at the museum, um, and we're just finishing up. Uh, we're going to go to a yarn store probably, and then go home. And... Oh, the special exhibit they have going on now that we went to is for the Columbian Exposition um, in 1893. 1893. Ah, yes. 400th anniversary of, you know, Columbus. Uh, it was a World's Fair. Super awesome, super exciting. It's when a lot of the original stuff that's in the museum, excuse me, particularly in the kind of exhibits that are like full of taxidermied animals, um, uh, it's when they were first shown, and so it was neat going through and seeing all the uh, sections of, um, they had, you know, just like different things that were displayed during the fair um, in different categories and stuff like that. Like, here are some fossils, here are some plants, here are some people, it was really awkward, we're going to put some disclaimers about how anthropology isn't racist now, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> And um, thankfully, and you know, they did have some parts towards the end there of that uh, section where they focused on ways that uh, museum type anthropology stuff is done now, like working with local artists to buy their work rather than just sort of being like, oh, mine now. Um, and that kind of thing. Uh, so that was neat to see. We also went to another special exhibit uh, that was full of um, Nazi propaganda posters um, and stuff like that, and it was neat to see and neat to go through, although, like, you know, kind of stressful and a little chilling, um, because they had, you know, they had the posters on display and they had the little plaques, like, explaining the type of thing that went on, but they also had little um, sort of reproductions of the posters, but they replaced, you know, with translations right on the graphic design where it was, not just, this poster says da 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 but you would actually have a copy of the poster with the art, except instead of where in German it said such and such, it said that in English. Um, and I thought that was a good way to really see what, you know, connect more um, 
obviously with what the posters were doing and what they were saying. Now we are going to record in the store. It's very exciting. So that's just um, our day, I guess. We are now in the Field Museum store. It's super cool. Um, I bought a cookbook because I'm me and I buy cookbooks. Um, it looks like it's really cool and it'll have a lot of recipes for, you know, the upcoming winter of uh, uh, winter. Um, anyway, we've, we're just going to go back up north, probably go see Thor, and it'll be super exciting. Um, love you. I will put this online later and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, see you tomorrow. See you on Monday, technically, when you put up a video. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna move this because otherwise I'll start fiddling with it. Okay, you can fiddle. Oh, I fiddle yeah. with it. Have you seen any of my videos? No, actually, I don't watch any of them. I kind of feel bad about that. <laughs>